Dear viewers, many of you might already aware about the multi-bagger picks in my portfolio. If not, even you will find that back in 2020, I have published a video on Lancer container. Since then, the stock price jumped by more than 10 times. It means 10 lakhs rupees investment turned into more than 1 crore. Not only Lancer container, you will find I had published a video on Gujarat Themis Biosyn back in 2020. Even since then, that stock price also more than doubled. Not only even Gujarat Themis Biosyn, you might already know that the stocks like Chemcrux Enterprise, I have already made a video on Chemcrux back in this YouTube channel itself. Even since then, that stock price jumped by more than 4-5 times. One point is, if you want to receive any such similar videos on the coming days, only what you need to do is subscribe this channel at free of cost and make sure that you turn on all notification button. In this video, I am going to share the primary driving factor or the primary trigger behind multi-bagger stocks. There are many stocks that are like around 5000 stocks in the market. Out of them, very few turn generate like 10 times, 15 times return for their investors, while many of them or majority of them disappoints. So what is the primary trigger or what is the principal driving force behind multi-bagger return that we will know in this video. After that, we will learn some basic screening parameter from where you can start the research and thereafter, like in the last part of the video, I'll share few unique points about one of my recent multi-bagger potential stock addition. Very recently, like in the June to July 2022, I have invested on that stocks and I'll share some unique points about that company. I'm Prashanjit Paul, author of the best-selling book, How to Avoid Loss and Earn Consistently in the Market, which is still the highest rated book written by any Indian author in the stock market. You can get this book from Amazon. Only thing, Amazon or Flipkart, only thing, make sure to check the seller name as Paul Asset to get the latest and updated version of the book. So what is the primary driving factor or what is the primary trigger behind multi-bagger return? See, it is not sales growth. It is not like huge capacity expansion. I can sh share you many names like where a company or a stock, uh, whereas a company displayed huge growth in sales or huge growth in top line, but still the stock price disappointed. So the primary trigger behind multi-bagger return is net profit margin. What is this net profit margin? It's simply net profit divided by sales. Now, you will find this net profit margin across many financial websites, be it money control, screener, trigger tape, and many more all other. So it is not a very difficult uh, thing to find out. You must need to understand one thing, like suppose, you have, you have purchased already purchased a stock in your portfolio now any of your portfolio stock if any of your portfolio stock experience incremental margin over the next one or two years then i am very much sure that that particular stock will generate great return in your portfolio however so it's not like that that all the stocks that generated huge return must also experience uh, incremental margin it's not like that but the reverse is true it means if any stock or if any business experience incremental margin over a period of one year or two year or three four year whatever be the period then the stock price must generate multi-bagger return or the stock price must generate huge return for the investors now let's move towards the screen to check the margin trend of the stocks that generated multi-bagger return now I'll show you uh, in the screen like the company the Lancer container. So what has actually happened back in 2020, uh, late 2020 to 21. So there's a global container shortage and due to this global container shortage, the entire container industry received a huge industry tailwind that helped into incremental margin. Now let's move forward to the screen. So here's this website tickertape.in. Now I'll search Lancer container. So Lancer container lines and then if you click on this financials and have a look at the annual margin trend. So if you look at this annual and margin view, what you will find is since FY20, say this is net income. So this is actually the net profit margin and this is EBI TDA margin. It's also refers to as operating profit margin. Now since uh, like for the net profit margin, the net income, since FY20, the margin was 3.01%. So since then, the net profit margin jumped to 4.5% just because of this global container shortage. And as, uh, as a result, stock price also increased exponential growth. 
if you consider gujarat themis biasin gujarat themis so again i will visit to the financials and then if you look into this margin figure what you will find is a significant jump in the net profit margin so back in fy20 it was 27.26 percent since then it jumped to 32 and then 36 percent so gujarat themis biasin experienced a sharp jump in margin only because of a change in their business model now the problem is you can't find out the stocks that will experience margin jump only through screener like screener is based on some past data so basic on some past financial parameters we can screen out stocks but we can't screen stocks based on some future happening based on some future probability it means no screener or no formula it's not like that you put some formula and then a particular website shares you the list of stocks that has the probability of uh, margin in place no that can't happen but still many investors on multiple times request us for kindly share some basic screens like from where we can initiate research because as you all know there are 5000 odd shares in the market correct so out of this 5000 shares if we guessed some basic list of maybe 20 30 or 40 kind of 40 odd shares from where we can initiate research that could be much beneficial so now let's again have a look at the screen here in ticker tape website now let's visit to the tools of trade and then stock screener so under stock screener i have already created a stock screener so this figure stock universe sector market cap uh, just leave it as it is now here what i have considered this six month return versus nifty so i have considered stocks that outperformed by more than 4% compared to the nifty return now return on equity debt to equity uh, so if i reset and just remove these figures so it's simple like click on the add filter and from this add filter i'll search like return on equity and here return on equity five year average return on equity is here so again if i just click on done so this five years average return on equity is coming over here and then I just put figures like say for example 14 percent to high anything so accordingly uh, the website filters out the result not only that there are multiple useful features many of the pro memberships like say for example uh, this there are some ticker tape special parameters like fundamental score momentum score and all so you can explore all these features anyways so uh, with just simple with just two three filters so what I get a list of stocks and now then I will short with the five year average return on equity. Now from here on like the stocks like VST Industries, Gillette, you can even further short out stocks using uh, market capitalization. Like if you click on the small cap, then the stock, then the number of stocks will further reduce down. So if we visit these VST Industries, then there are multiple useful features like under the basic membership. Uh, you will find these are some auto calculated feature and under the pro membership it is showing the default probability low probability of default in the next 12 months quality check among the top top performers in quality check growth score satisfactory then here are some important features like forecast tool like 50 percent of analysts have suggested uh, the investors can buy so these are some uh, useful features uh, in uh, this uh, ticker tape website that you can surely explore now with market cap if i further like click small cap the list is i mean there are only 17 stocks so we can you can start analyzing i mean you can start research from this list another uh, important and useful feature that i find in uh, uh, ticker tape website is it's called market mood index mmi index so what I noticed since the last one and a half year as following this market mood index and I noticed this market mood index is fairly I mean it provides a fairly good idea when to invest and when not to invest whenever the index remains on the greed or extreme greed zone it's better not to be aggressive and whenever this uh, I mean index remains on the extreme fear or fear zone then we can slowly build up the positions so anyways so this uh, ticker tape pro i already have this pro subscription so if you are interested to subscribe you will find a 30 percent discount coupon uh, 30 percent discount link in the description box once you click on the link the 30 percent discount will be auto applied so you can explore uh, this ticker tape pro i am already using since the last uh, one or two year and i find it quite beneficial 
Recently, I have invested in another microcap multibagger potential stock. Now, I'll explore some unique features about that particular stock. The company has competitive advantage or business mode over others and has presence in niche segment. Competitive advantage or mode means due to some regulatory reasons, not all other company or not any other company can manufacture that particular product that the company is currently manufacturing. The second point is second most attractive point is last three years CAGR sales growth rate is around 41%. Then last three years CAGR profit growth rate is 46%. Whenever profit growth rate is more than the sales growth rate, it means that the company is able to increase its net profit margin. So the last three years CAGR profit growth rate 46% and three years sales growth rate is 41%. It clearly indicates that over the last three years, the company also experienced jump in margin. Average return on equity and average return on capital employed both are at more than 20% and the company is net debt free. So all these are from the past parameters. So from this past parameters, what we can conclude that yes, the company has sound fundamentals. But what about the future? The best part is management provided and clear guidelines. In fact, management hold and conference call and they provided and elaborative guidelines that they are targeting 30% growth over the next 3-4 years with around with my incremental margin in every year. So they are targeting around 0.5 to 1% increase in margin every year over the next 3-4 years. Obviously, we shouldn't believe the management, whatever they say, we shouldn't believe that. But what I noticed that earlier also in the past dates management, whatever the management had committed, mostly they followed. I mean, management walked the talk. So this time also, if the company really achieve as per the management guidance, then I'm sure that it will become another multi-bagger stock over the next two or three years. You also need to know the limitations or the primary risks of investing in that stock. Now, this stock, is from SME segment which means you can't invest single quantity you need to invest in lot this is as per the exchange set regulatory norms so the minimum investment amount in such SME micro cap stocks is generally 2 lakhs 2.5 lakhs or maybe 3 lakhs something like this so as you need to invest in lot so if you have an overall portfolio size of maybe 5 lakhs or 6 lakhs then at max you can invest in two different stocks right now in your overall portfolio if you have only two different stocks that would be very risky and not recommended at all minimum to minimum i always recommend investing in 10 different stock for a properly diversified portfolio because if your portfolio have only two or only three four stocks then if any one or any two stock crash then your entire portfolio will be affected so this is the reason unless and until you have 20 or 25 lakhs of your overall portfolio size we don't recommend venturing out for sme micro cap segment another most important point is sme micro cap segment always carries high volatility risks back in 2017 while i invested in lancer container came crux back then those stocks are also in the sme segment now it is moved into the mainboard segment so now you can trade in one quantities one or two quantities of lancer came cracks but back then in 2017-18 those are in sme segment and you need to invest minimum of two lakhs or three lakhs kind of based on the lot size so the biggest issue is due to such limited trading volume such stocks also experience a lot of volatility like in 2018-19 itself lancer container crashed by around 50 to 60 percent now you can understand like if i share a particular name uh, in youtube or in any free forum and then the stock price corrects by 30 by 40 percent so i'll receive a lot of questions many people will ask sir what we will do the stock price crash obviously such creates a lot of disturbance and obviously i'll avoid any such disturbance and this is why we have created a separate membership for micro cap segment and we strictly mention that this membership is only for investors having overall portfolio size of 20 to 25 lakhs and having such higher risk taking capabilities. 
If you are interested in microcap multi-bagger potential stock, you can visit our website prasenjitpal.com and then scroll to click on the small cap and micro cap investment of Prasenjit Paul. Then here actually in this subscription, I share my portfolio potential multi-bagger stocks from this small cap and micro cap segment. So here you will also find a sample video. As you can see, the price is around 40,000 per year, including GST and which is strictly mentioned suitable for investors having 25 lakhs plus portfolio size plus high risk uh, appetite. If you have any questions or if you want to share any feedback, feel free to write in the comment section. If you learned something new from this video, kindly make sure to press on the like button and also make sure to subscribe this channel to receive in our upcoming videos. So that's it. As on today, I'll come with another insightful video on some other day. Till then, happy investing.